Hello, this is Ed Becker with Macmillan Education. The purpose of this brief video is to show you how you would create a test using our Launchpad product. Now, typically Launchpad product is designed to be used in collaboration with your students in the classroom or online or in a flipped classroom environment where the test that we're about to generate would actually be done inside Launchpad. The students would take it inside Launchpad. It would be auto-graded and then you would have it in a grade book. But that would be the normal way of doing things. What I'm going to show you now is a workaround to get a quick test up and running in lieu of having a test bank in your hands for whatever reason you don't have it. Either uh, I didn't get it to you quick enough, um, it's in route, or it's been misplaced and you have a test that you want to generate very quickly. So when you click the link of the launch pad that I sent to you, you would land basically on this page. You would then sign in with, your, with the email that that link came to. If I could spell my name, that would be great. And then the, your credentials, presumably you have a password. If you've never been in the system before, the password would be all lowercase, the word password, one word. Or if you have a password and you've forgotten it, you would click the forget password link right here. and we're going to sign in. <laughs> okay, your dashboard will look different than mine. Your dashboard would have basically a, the opportunity to create a course, which you don't need to do. It would have a demo opportunity uh, course over here that's already created for you. Being that create the course and demo course are really identical in what they do, well, we could just click on, remember yours would say demo. I've already been in here, so I've done some things, so I'm gonna click on this. You then come to Launchpad the opening screen for Launchpad, the Welcome to Launchpad. You need to enter the course. That would be over here on the right-hand side. We'll click to enter the course, and now we're into the course itself. Now let's presume for a moment that we wanted to create a test um, for the brain. We would click on the module and open it up. You could scroll down just to see the other resources that are embedded in Launchpad, and there's a wealth of them, being videos and um, other opportunities. But for, again, the purpose of this, we're generating a test. So we're going to add to this unit with this button here. We're going to add, and we're going to create something new, that being a new quiz. So we'll click on that. That opens up a pop-up window. We have a lot of different things that we can choose from to create, but we're going to hover over the quiz and create that. That opens internal window, which gives you the opportunity for the quiz to be titled. You can call it anything because we're not um, we're not going to use it in this context. And then save it. Again, you could pretty much type anything in there. Now, let's go to the questions, which is what it is we started to, to pursue here. After all, so this is going to open the question banks up. I happen to be dealing with Module 4. Let's look and see what Module 4 has. Module 4 has a bunch of different stuff in it, essays, multiple choice, all kinds of stuff. Let's go into the test bank for multiple choice. Now, in this test bank for multiple choice, there happens to be 69 questions for this particular module. Uh, you could have a few options here. You could randomly have Launchpad pick X questions, that being 10, 20, 30, or whatever, from all of the questions that are here. And that would be simple enough just to do that. Or you do the drop down, or rather don't do a drop down, and selectively go through and build a pool of questions by simply clicking the questions that you'd like to have in your pool. And I'm not paying any rhyme or reason to this. I'm just sort of, I'm randomly selecting the questions for the pool at this point. So I've selected a number of questions. I'll put them into a pool. And again, we can name this thing anything, any, <laughs> any pool. And how many questions do I want to pick? Now, if I pick a big enough pool, say 40, 50 questions in the pool, I may pick 10 or 15 or 20 or whatever you want to do. I've only put a few in there, so I'm just going to default to three. And then I'm going to create the test. <clears throat> the test is created over here on the right-hand side. You can see the pool of questions that, are, that uh, will be the three questions will be chosen from. And for that, now we're pretty much done 
with the test creation. So we're done editing. Over here and do done editing. And now we have the, the quiz ready. If we were administering this inside Launchpad, we would have done an assignment to create an assignment date. Um, we would create a points for it, a few other things. But again, we're doing the dumbed down approach here of getting you a quick and dirty test uh, as if um, Launchpad is nothing more than a, a sophisticated test bank for you. Now the way to get them would be to print. If we hit the print button there, we're going to open a print dialog box, which is going to say that once we hit the print, it's going to put out the first, it's going to put out all the questions in, in unanswered format, and then it's going to have all the questions with the, correct, with the answers marked off as well. And then we'll hit the print key. And again, you can print this to anything, um, any printer that you have. I happen to like to print things to PDFs. Um, if you have a PDF printer installed, that might be the best option for you because now you can work with it electronically. Um, or you print it off to the paper and then um, go from there. But so, and if you don't have a PDF printer, um, either talk to your administrator at the school. There may be a, there's freeware out there. I happen to use Nitro PDF. It's a freeware um, assured by CNET, and I've used it for years. It works fine. I use it for everything. I print receipts and everything with it, and it would work perfectly well here. <laughs> so um, basically. You would hit print, but that would enter a save box. And now we would have um, this thing all set. So what you end up having is, remember, first three questions, I only picked three questions, so the first three are the real questions. The second set here are the same questions with the answers included in it. So that's pretty much it. Um, a quick way of generating a test inside Launchpad using our test banks. Um, Obviously, having your CD versions S Bank might be a bit simpler, and I hope that um, that arrives or you can find the one that you've uh, misplaced. But this is a way to get around that if you need to. And if you want to see how to use Launchpad much more thoroughly with all the videos um, and all of the concepts and actions, the simulations, um, I'm more than eager to show you a full demo of Launchpad as well. But that's it for now. This is Ed Becker with Macmillan Education. Have a great day.